In HealthWorks, she's a new mom in a wheelchair and she just wants to take her baby for a stroll. She can't do that until a local high school kid designs the perfect solution. You gonna wake up? On the University of Detroit Mercy campus in Detroit, this is a celebration of firsts. Sharina and Grover Jones are first time parents and for the first time, Sharina can stroll with her baby. Well, she would open his eyes. <laughs> 30 years ago in Waterford, five-year-old Sharina was shot by another child playing with a gun. As a paraplegic, she has learned to adapt and lives a very active life. But sometimes she needs the world to adapt to her. A lot of my friends have babies and they are out running with their babies in their stroller. And I thought, what am I going to do? It doesn't fold currently, but hopefully one day it would be a collapsible. Enter Alden Kane, a 16-year-old University of Detroit Jesuit high school senior through a high-level STEM class, that's science, technology, engineering, and math. And in collaboration with University of Detroit Mercy, Alden welcomed the challenge of designing an adaptable stroller for Sharina. The biggest priority is make it safe for the baby, of course. And then also you really want to make it independent for the mother. The young engineer spent months working on this project, making sure it would be comfortable for mom and for baby Grover. Using lightweight steel tubing, the baby carrier easily clamps onto the chair and then the baby's car seat snugly sets right in. So far, this prototype is a huge hit. And after six months of hard work, six months of uh, working in the machine shop, designing it up. It was priceless seeing the design on her, on her wheelchair being used um, when her when her child in it. A lot of people that made this happen. Working in the classroom for the community is the goal of both the high school and the university. We recognized several years ago uh, as we started to do projects with mechanical engineers, there's a lot of energy and positive energy and ability. Meanwhile, in the in the community, there's a lot of need for different types of products like the one we've done for Sharina. But perhaps on this academic campus ripe with knowledge, we learn the most from Sharina, the woman in the wheelchair who never wanted to quit. You're still the same person. It's just, you know, it's up to you how you want to live your life. Next, Alden hopes to perfect his design and eventually apply for a patent. We're anxious to see where he ends up going to college. Sharina is anxious to keep putting his prototype to the test. That's HealthWorks. I'm Dina Santafonte.